This is what we're talking about. So shout out to Film Kit. The full specs of the upcoming Panasonic S5 have already leaked and it's great news for filmmakers. Okay, comes with Vlog, hopefully the full Vlog and not the Vlog L. It's a full frame 4K UHD 30 frames a second camera with an APS-C crop for 4K 60. Impressive. It has anamorphic modes. The autofocus is still depth from defocus. Bruh. Contrast detect miss move that looks like it's more affordable than the S1 with more focus on video. Video. I like that. Let's go into the article from Photo Rumors and deep dive into it. S5 mirrorless camera leak specifications. Let's look into this. Sensor size 24.2 megapixel full frame. Expected total number of pixels is 21. Okay, cool. Dust detection. Okay, cool. Whatever. JPEG RAWs video. Okay. So you're looking at 420 10 bit with long GOP IPB and 150 megabits per second in 422 if you're looking at 30 frames a second, which is great um the evf is is quite low we're looking at the same evf as what you get in the xt3 not the xt4 so it's going to be lower the monitor type is a touch panel free angle okay that's not really explaining that well what the lcd is is it a very angle flip articulating display this af miss me with that not interested sorry sorry to sound like an all focus snob i am not interested um dual native iso on a full frame camera nice okay nice base iso for vlog is 640 by the looks of it interesting okay image stabilization which panasonic are <laughs> next to olympus and obviously the r series uh, like panasonic ibis is, is on point even on full frame 6.5 stops with dependent on the lenses that you've got one over eight thousand shutter which is great it's premium as high end it go beyond the standard four thousand sequential shooting not really interested 6k video okay usb port usb type c and it's a 3.1 gen 1 not gen 2 or 3.2 gen 2 uh, okay this is fast enough mike no no Oh no. Oh. Why? Why? That just rubbed me up the wrong apple. Let me go back. Why are we putting a micro hate? Nah, I'm upset. Now we're gonna wait a couple of seconds. And we're gonna come back. Why? Why, why, why are you putting micro HDMI on these big full frame bodies? Like I'm done with it. I don't care. Like, don't do that if you're gonna be focusing on video. Your, your camera bodies are big. And if that's the case, I hope this is wrong. This is so unlike Panasonic. Like you already annoyed me with the fact that you still don't wanna get on board with face detection autofocus. Fine, make your stance and be the only person that thinks contrast detection only with depth from defocus is the way forward. Then you're gonna tell me you're gonna go to micro from from full size. Come on, bruh. Come on, don't don't miss move that. That's wrong. That is so wrong. Dual SD card slot, QHS2, great. Big battery, full detail specifications. L mount, obviously, which is obviously part of the L mount alliance with Sigma, um, Leica, as well as Panasonic. I respect Panasonic. And if you didn't see my dear dear Lumix video, what the GH6 needs, go watch it. I actually really, it was a video that was out of my comfort zone. I was only starting to integrate camera content into the channel and it's something I did. And the video just slowly has this weird traction where people come in and I really like that. And and Panasonic just don't want to get on board. I, I'm sorry to say they, they really don't want to get on board and it doesn't make any sense to me at all. And the only conclusion I have to say is that I respect what they're doing. I respect Panasonic. I respect Lumix but call me an autofocus snob and it's not because i need to tap into it all the time i did a client shoot today and the versatility of tapping into autofocus when needing and not tapping into it made the the, the shooting process on site so much easier and so much more convenient mixing manual and then autofocus when you need it's just where it's at. We've got cinema cameras that are costing over 10 Gs that have advanced autofocus systems from the C300 Mark III, the C500 Mark II, and also the Sony FX9. What, what is so wrong? Even Nikon moved away from their contrast detection autofocus that they did with their old DSLRs like the D850. And when they came into mirrorless, they invested in face detection autofocus. Is it blistering fast like what you get with Canon and especially Sony? No, but you start from somewhere, Panasonic, man. I don't know why this determination to really hold on to depth from defocus is so important to you guys. I really don't understand. I don't get it. 
I don't get it. And I don't want it to be droned on about autofocus is the knee or and be or and you can't use anything else. F yeah. But wow. when you've got mirrorless cameras as cheap as the A6400, body only 600 pounds with advanced autofocus, like get with it, man. Seriously, get with it. There's depth from defocus thing. If it's a thing where, because you don't, apparently Panasonic's reasoning is they don't want to put face detection autofocus points on the sensor itself where it affects dynamic range. Bruh, it's not a good enough reason. Now nah, it's not a good enough reason. So I respect it. If you're in the L-Mount Alliance, which trust me, there ain't that many lenses in the L-Mount Alliance and the L-Mount Alliance lenses are expensive, still growing, then maybe this might be an accessible full frame camera for you for video. If you are manual focused all the way, it's impressive what they've been able to put there. They're going to really be aiming for something close to what the EOS RP or the Z5 is, especially with a crop mode on a full frame sensor with 4K UHD 60 with 10 bit internal across the board and a mix of 420 and 422 internal when it comes to the chroma subsampling. But I'm not interested and I'm not interested if they're really putting stuff like micro, um, um, micro HDMI. Miss me with that. I'm done with these big body mirrorless cameras that want to focus on videos at the prices that they've been charging, all the body sizes, and you're putting micro HDMI, miss me with that. Let's see. That is the rumored S5 from Panasonic Lumix.